Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to any new viewers. This is a reading for Pisces, my beautiful Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, this is all about how your person of interest is feeling about you at the moment. So if there's a specific person you have in mind and you're wondering how they're seeing you, how they're coming across, whether that's in line with their deeper feelings, what they like, what they don't like about the connection, what their overall level of interest is, then please keep on watching. If you do enjoy the reading, don't forget to um, like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Just going to pull one more card here and then we will get right into it. Beautiful. Okay, so very, very interesting here. And we have, I'll just show you what the, what's at the bottom of the deck. We have the Knight of Swords. So this is um, very, very um, unexpected communication. Um, so it sometimes takes us by surprise when the Knight of Swords brings through a message um, and it's not necessarily good or bad. It just comes through very quickly and as a surprise when you sort of least expect it. Um, now, I did get this feeling as soon as the Eight of Wands came out that this person um, is really wanting to speed up the communication or ramp up the communication. For some reason, Pisces, the way they're seeing you at the moment or the way you're coming across to them is the Four of Swords. So this is all about taking, you know, a little bit of a time out, a break. There could be a period of time where you have not communicated with this person um, or potentially when you've you know, deliberately uh, stopped responding to this person or just need to take a bit of time out for yourself. It could just be that there's also a lot of other stuff going on in your life and you're just literally needing to have a bit of a break um, from it all in order to refocus, reassess, ground yourself, um, you know, realign your priorities, whatever the case may be. Um, but either way, this person is really wanting to break through to you um, with increased communication it could also be that they are wanting to travel to come and see you so there's a lot of energy of movement and moving towards you and that could be with like communication and messages but it could also be physical movement so if you two are separated by some distance they may be contemplating making that journey coming to travel and coming to see you um so lots of dynamic action on this person's part. You may be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, but they're certainly evoking that energy of wanting to reach out, communicate, travel to see you um, make that move here. Like I said, I think it's going to come through quite quickly, but also quite unexpectedly whether this is them actually paying you a visit or just communicating to you now when we look at their deeper feelings here we have the six of swords this person may be wanting to get things to a much more peaceful um, kind of vibe um, between you both so I don't know if maybe there was an argument that happened maybe that's why you're taking a little bit of a time out because there was like a disagreement or some friction or something I'm not sure this person wants to leave that in the past and move forward to a much more calm situation um, it could also be again moving towards you physically crossing water making an actual move to get closer to you but certainly the symbolic aspect of this card is getting into those deeper emotions um, and leaving the past baggage behind and moving forward to a much um, brighter or, or much calmer um, situation or relationship um, they are struggling a little bit with um, the fact that you have pulled back your energy um, but at the same time they are seeing that you're not some someone who's going to make like a super impulsive decision to let's say you break it off with them um they like the fact that or at least they feel like they still have a chance so if there was some kind of an argument disagreement etc they feel like there's still um hope for things to improve um and they're aware of the fact that you don't want to waste time in your life you know who does 
um, you are looking for that next relationship, that next connection, which is going to be the right one, which is going to be the you know person who you end up with for a very long time. Um, they like that. They like that about you. They like that you're not just playing games. You know, even if you're taking a bit of a time out, you're doing it because you need to. And you know, there's no like deception surrounding that. Let's let's just say. Um, when we look at this one here, we've got the Empress. I'm almost feeling as though this person thinks that you're a little bit out of their league, like you're a little bit too good for them, honestly. Um, they're looking at you as someone who really um, embodies this amazing energy. And even though it's a female card, you know, male or female, doesn't matter. But the Empress energy, this is um, all the queens of the tarot combined into one card. This is someone who is so... Um, evolved on many different levels um, emotionally intellectually um, physically this is someone who is you know beautiful attractive um, stable abundant you know an amazing kind of person and it's almost as though um, yeah this person is feeling a little bit of pressure <laughs> or feeling like you are in a way too good for them and they know that the decision is in your hands um, as to what you're going to do moving forward. When we look at their overall level of interest, it could not be more clear here. Um, with the four of wands, they want to build like this stable, um, solid, fun, happy home environment with you. This is also often a card of you know marriage ceremonies, commitment ceremonies, weddings, celebrations, um, to do with house and home, building a home together. This is a really warm, inviting energy. Um, this is almost like wanting to integrate your lives a little bit more as well, getting friends and family involved, building those sorts of connections with you as well. So this person has commitment, stability, long-term kind of security on their mind, um, and they want to do that with you. So... I think, as I said, Pisces, you're going to get some communication on this very suddenly, very rapidly, possibly unexpectedly. This person is really going to come through. They may be coming to actually see you as well, traveling to see you. Um, they don't, if there was you know, any sort of argument or disagreement in the past, they certainly don't want to let that get in the way of future connection. Um, they see you as someone who they are very very interested in um, in building a life with uh, there are things that I suppose they feel like they need to say or need to tell you and that's going to happen very soon um, so yeah they're definitely they have a little bit more of a sense of urgency than you I would say to get this done their time frame is a little bit um, yeah more rushed or more urgent than yours but at the same time I certainly think they are respecting the fact that, you know, you need to take your time. So if that's the case, of course, that's okay. But they want to keep those channels of communication open, definitely. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed that reading. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much again for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video.